Alright guys, this is Jay Yoon Surf Fishing and um, I'm down at my campground and I just wanted to show you guys what I used this spring for this big bluefish that we got into. Normally I use a fish finder rig and at the end of it uh, just a like a 8 foot, I mean excuse me, 8 inch, 10 inch small leader with a circle hook. But what I've come to find out with um, catching these bigger blues is as they turn the body, the rub, their body's rubbing against the, um, it's like a four foot section leaders of 80 pound mono. And it, they were just absolutely uh, destroying and fraying the 80 pound mono. So what I decided to do was go to Fisherman Headquarters while I was in Long Beach Island and pick up bigger leaders and instead of, uh, since I was using bigger leaders, I decided to use um, the crimps and also uh, the double barrel sleeve uh, uh, crimps. So I just wanted to make a really quick video on what I bought and how I tied it. So this is the um, monofilament leader that I um, used. It's uh, called the Jinka. If you look real close, uh, this is 150 pound, but more importantly guys, when you buy it, look at the diameter. 1.17 millimeters. <clears throat> and what that will do is give you the specifications of what size uh, double barrel sleeve that you're going to use, because it's got to match in there. And if you have any questions, just go to the guys at the tackle shop. And I always support going to a, a local tackle shop instead of going to those uh, big chain ones. And also at the same place, I went and bought the crimping tool. Now this is, um, I believe I paid like $35 for this one. And it has the uh, specs that I need to actually crimp it properly. So let's get down to business here. I use about a four foot section whenever I'm uh, crimping. So let me just get this out. It's just about from arm to arm, not, not stretched all the way out. That's about what I use there. And what's nice about this crimp tool that I bought, it has really sharp uh, cutters. I'll uh, explain to you why it's important that you have really sharp cutters when you uh, do it. A lot of guys that will be using crimp, what they'll do is take a razor blade and just push down and it makes a perfectly straight cut. Because if you don't use this, uh, really sharp cutters, what will happen is it'll actually pinch it before it cuts it. And then it'll be difficult to slide that into your uh, sleeves that you're going to be crimping. So I'm just going to grab a couple sleeves out of here. It's right here. And if you look at it, you'll see that it's double crimp. Okay. So you just slide one end through. And then I use Spro Swivels. Uh, this is a size 2. It's rated for 230 pounds. And there's 50 in here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the other Spros, like the Roscoe's and them, but the only uh, I like to use the higher quality ones because you don't have to change them out year after year. Uh, that's one thing that I would recommend if you're using the, um, the less expensive ones because they do tend to uh, fatigue over the, especially if you're going to use them uh, trip after trip. But with the Spros, I don't have to worry about that. And plus, these are rated higher, and that's the other reason why they, I like to use it also. So I did, you saw me just slip the uh, sleeve in, just slide your one end of the barrel swivel in there, and then leave yourself plenty of room, as much room as you need to work with, slide the other end in, and if that cut wasn't perfectly straight, you would have a hard time pushing that through. And then just slide the swivel, the barrel up to the swivel, and then what you can do is just push that through and 
And I like to leave um, a smaller ear of it on the end of it. Okay. That's perfectly fine for the way I do it. I leave a little uh, ear tag on the other end. If I had my lighter on me for my cigars, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll burn that uh, ear end, just give it a little tap of the flame, just let it go, and it'll uh, just bell out a little bit, and that'll prevent it from sliding down past the um, swivel also. Okay, th this is the main thing, guys. Yeah, put it into the barrel that you need to in order to, um, for the right spec, and what you want it is directly in the middle. You should have a little end on both sides of the crimper when you crimp it, and that's how you know that you have it. You don't want to uh, uh, be more off one side or the other. So just go ahead and squeeze it as far as you can go. And hopefully you guys can see it. If you look at it, it's directly in the center, and both ends are flared out a little bit and that's absolutely perfect so and then on the other end um, what I would do is the exact same thing but put a tackler ang anglers clip in there so let me just go grab that real quick I've got it right over here Okay, this is the fish finder right here. There's different ways that I uh, uh, put this on also, but I'm just, just for uh, video purposes. I would have a, 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 a protective bead on here. This goes in here, like this. As a matter of fact, let me get the protective bead. Let me just tie this up the way I normally would. These are the offshore um, luminous beads. These are the bigger, big ones, which works out good for this. You want you don't want it too tight because as the salt uh, gets in there, it won't be able to slide. So I put the bead in first, then the fish finder. I use the yellow or blue because it's braid friendly, but it's also um, if you use the cheaper quality ones on the cast, especially if you're throwing like eight ounces or possibly even 10 ounces depending on what the uh, the conditions are on the beach I've actually broke them and then grab a tackler anguish clip and then the exact same thing as uh, it was before Make this real quick. Sometimes I'll put a, a barrel swivel in here also to the uh, tackler angles clip. Exact same way as before, guys, as you normally would, as I just showed you on the. Um, the other end of it that I just used right in the center and I just squeeze it and that's it this is the leader that I use right here then you can do the exact same step to where the hook will go on to let me just grab one of those that I made up This is the hook that I made up um, probably about a month and a half ago. Exactly, I caught a lot of big blues. The biggest one being 19 pounds. And with the, and then you just snap this into your tackling angles clip, 
and that's the business end right here. So thanks for watching, guys. This was uh, Ju and Surf Fishing, and uh, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe. Thank you.